What is up, everybody? Hello, and welcome to the big one. If you wonder what I'm talking about, this is probably, even though regardless of the fact that later this year, there will be the hardcore gaming season, and you will have, you know, entire weeks with multiple releases, and the usual will go on near the end of the year. This week in particular, I like to call, <clears throat> I'll probably be calling it this all week, the big one. And the reason I'm terming this week as the big one is because today is March 11th, 2014, and we've got two incredible heavy hitters. Games with monstrous amounts of hype surrounding them, where rabid fan bases, the crazy, you know, uh, promotion machine has really heavily pouted these two games. Completely different games, by the way. Totally different genres. Totally different fan bases. When you really think about it, the people who are hardcore fans of either one of these games are probably a completely different grouping of people. But, this week, they both came out today. And so here we are for release day unboxing. We will be really, uh, unboxing Dark Souls 2 Black Armor Edition as well as Titanfall. Of course, Dark Souls 2 I've purchased on the PlayStation 3. Titanfall I've purchased on the Xbox One. Important to note, Titanfall, even though it is a cross-platform game, right? They're saying that it comes out for Xbox One and PC today and Xbox 360 uh, in two weeks, that's right, for whatever reason, they staggered the release of the Xbox 360 version. Do I really believe that they did that because they needed that extra time? No. I think they did it because they want people to say, oh, well, you know, I want to play it when it's new, and I want to play it when there's still hype around it, so even though I don't have an Xbox One, I'm going to have to go out and buy one now. And it's actually interesting because they are now bundling the Xbox One with Titanfall for the same retail price of $499 that the Xbox One was selling for without a game previous to this. So it's pretty obvious at this point that Microsoft is thinking that Titanfall is going to be an Xbox One system seller. So what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox both of these games and then I'm going to explain to you how exactly I will be covering these games this week in case you weren't paying attention, maybe you didn't see my weekend preview video, which already previously explained this, okay? So, first of all, the first thing you might say is, why is Phil unboxing the non-collector's editions of these games? Because in years past, let's face it, since I've been doing release day unboxing for several years now, a lot of the times I get the more expensive, super hyper collector's edition that comes with a figurine, or it comes with an art book, or it comes with some kind of incredibly expensive additional content. In this case, both of these games had expensive collector's editions available. However, I made this statement earlier this year that this year I am scaling back on the collector's editions which I am purchasing. I'm not saying that I'm not going to get them anymore. What I'm saying is I'm going to be very selective. So for example, in a week and a half, Infamous Second Son, I will be getting the collector's edition of. But in this case, these two games, I said, I like them both. I'm going to play them both. Most of the biggest hype of the year is surrounding this week. But I am not interested in spending a ton of extra money. For example, the Titanfall collector's edition was ridiculous. I think it was over 150 bucks, And you get this big Titan statuette. And I said, where the hell, realistically, am I going to put a Titan statuette? I already have far too many collectible statues and knickknacks and things over the years from I've been, since I've been doing this on YouTube. I don't have anywhere to put it. So there's no way I'm going to spend that much money. So that's the deal. That's why I'm unboxing these versions. Now, Dark Souls 2 Black Armor Edition is actually standard if you pre-order at GameStop. Okay, I don't know if you get it at other retailers. You probably do. I'm not 100% on that. But it's nice that if you pre-order the game, 
you get a cool collectible case and you're going to see some extras on the inside as well that if you waited and you didn't pre-order and you just bought the standard edition later on or you rented the game, you're not going to get these cool extras. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing itself. We'll start with Dark Souls 2 Black Armor Edition. Flip it to the back. It says, Go Beyond Death, an unforgettable experience. Yeah, unforgettable. The amount of fucking deaths in these games, yeah, I'd say it's unfucking forgettable <laughs> As in, it haunts you for life and you can't ever fucking forget it. Um, from, from Software's Breakout Hit, Returns to Haunt Your Soul. Well, if the frame rate in this game is anything like the first Dark Souls, it probably is going to haunt my fucking soul. <laughs> Afflicted by an ancient curse of the undead. Explore a breathtaking world of grave danger. Clash with other players in unique online play. If you actually look, which I know you can't see because it's too small, it actually says play for up to network players two to four. So I don't know if that means you can have two people helping you and one invader. You know what I mean? Or if there's multiple invaders possible. I have no clue. I guess we're going to find out, right? Important to know, it does not admit, and I like this about Sony and the PlayStation 3, they don't bullshit and tell you that the games are higher resolution than they are. They openly admit it's 720p. They don't lie and say this game runs in 1080p, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, the Xbox 360 did that all the time. So here we go. Dark Souls 2. Black Armor Edition. Comes with a neat metallic case, which as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, it actually is, is like raised the surface, okay, it has a texture to it in the back, and so to open it there you go on the inside, what do you got? Well, you got your game disc on the left hand side you've got a few goodies, the first one is a black armor weapons pack now it says to get the early access content, enter this code you know, on your, your PlayStation 3 it doesn't explain what the Black Armor Weapons Pack is. So I'm assuming it might be a pack of, of stuff that maybe just, you know, very slightly help you at the beginning of the game. Knowing these guys, I really doubt they're going to give you overpowered armor just for pre-ordering the game. Uh, Dark Souls 2 is a little pamphlet. And you might say, what is the pamphlet? It's absolutely nothing. Watch this. It's your warranty and your epilepsy warnings, and that's it. Nothing. No instructions. Zero. Zippo. Okay? And then last but not least... On the left-hand side, you've got your official soundtrack CD. So the game actually comes with its own soundtrack right from the get-go. And that's a cool bonus if you are a huge fan of the Dark Souls, uh, you know, series. And you remember that dungeon where you died 400 times and it took you two weeks to get through one room. And so what you like to do is listen to the music of that moment so you'll just basically scar yourself for life uh, by reliving that experience in your head, by, you know, and the music behind it. There you go. Now, what's behind here? The character, the main character of Dark Souls standing there posing, imposing, like. And on this side, absolutely nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Alright. So that's Dark Souls 2. Black Armor Edition. Woohoo. And again, that's a standard $59.99 United States dollars edition. You don't have to pay any extra to get that stuff, which is nice. Titanfall for the Xbox One. I flip it to the back. Believe the hype, IGN. Well, I don't believe anything IGN says because they hire a bunch of fucking nitwits. Um, <clears throat> here we are. Crafted by key developers behind the Call of Duty franchise, more like crafted by the people who left Call of Duty when it became a sellout franchise, Titanfall is the first next-gen shooter that combines pure adrenal adrenaline, wall running, double jumping action, and powerful, fast-paced Titan warfare to set the new bar for online multiplayer gameplay. And it does say 6 to 12 players online, it does not mention a resolution because they don't want you to know that the game runs, I believe the people's are like 740 or something, 780, some 
resolution P, so it's basically a 720p game. It does not run at 1080p like you would expect next-gen games to run at. However, I did play the demo, and I can tell you that it does run at a smooth 60 frames per second. All right, let's open this guy. And in the inside, you get the Titanfall disc, which I know it's very odd that on the Xbox One they put the discs on the left-hand side. Don't ask me why they do that. On the right-hand side, you get a nice ad for Battlefield 4 Premium, which basically uh, is the, the season pass, so, you know, at where you get all the expansions. If you want to understand, it's incredibly expensive. I think it's more expensive than the fucking game itself. Uh, and that's it. Nothing. No goodies. No extras. You, you don't even get... And the thing that got me about this that kind of surprised me, Titanfall is supposed to be this Xbox One system seller, right? Titanfall is an online-only game. I repeat that. Titanfall is multiplayer only, which I think we're going to be getting a lot more of those style of games in the future. Therefore, if you don't have Xbox Live Gold, you cannot play Titanfall. They don't even bother giving you like a two-day demo of Xbox Live Gold. And that kind of surprised me because with Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare a couple weeks ago, that game came with the gold trial, and this one doesn't, which I'm like, huh? Very confusing. But that is it. Your epilepsy warnings and your warranty are on the inside of the, the cover, and that's it. And there's one last thing I want to show you guys. However, I'm not going to do an unboxing at this time because this is more at, for uh, games, right? But there is a third thing that I purchased this week. I purchased it specifically for the release of Titanfall, because when I played the Titanfall demo, or beta, or whatever they wanted to call it, um, I didn't have voice chat capabilities because my headsets work with Xbox One, but they don't have the, the chat functions of all my headsets don't work with it. And the standard Xbox One headset is a piece of shit, and how am I going to use that while I'm using a surround sound headset, right? So I purchased the Air Force X07 premium Xbox One gaming headset from TurtleBeach.com. It arrived yesterday, and in some respects, I think it's a pretty nice premium product. And I do mean premium. It is quite pricey. In other respects, I can't believe... Uh, basically, it's, it's a duping, okay? They lied. Turtle Beach is a bunch of liars. Because this headset... I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to unbox it. But I'm just going to say this. But, and then what I'm going to do later this week is I'm actually going to do a video of the full unboxing of this headset and explaining these features once I've used it. This headset is not an Xbox One headset. I'm going to repeat that. This is not an Xbox One only headset. This right here is a fucking false advertising. This is a standard stereo headset. These headphones will work with any device that has a headphone jack. And it's kind of a, a, a trick almost, a bait and switch, and I'm going to show you why. Because... Here is, take a look at this, that is the Air Force XP7, so it's even almost the same exact name, right? This headset was released a year or two ago, this is the one that I've had for my streaming and direct capture gameplay. As you can see, they're pretty much the same headset. They did it on purpose, they made them look identical to trick the consumer, because this headset is surround sound. That headset does 5.1 simulated surround sound. This headset does not. This one only does stereo fucking sound. So who in their right mind would spend over $100 for a headset that only does stereo sound just to have built-in chat, right? Because it does have a microphone that comes out here, and then you can do the voice chat on the Xbox One. Who would buy that? And it's funny, because if you look at all the documentation online, not once anywhere in the description of that headset, the X07, does it say stereo headset. So, you would think that it's surround sound, because the one that looks identical to it, that they already sell, is surround sound. But no, it's a bait and switch, it's a fucking bullshit, it's not an Xbox One headset at all. The only thing that's, that's in this box, that's Xbox One oriented, is the Xbox One audio adapter, which you can buy separately for much cheaper than just buying these headphones with it. It's a complete and utter ripoff, and I will, again, do a formal unboxing, and I'll give you my real opinion on the quality of the headset later this week, because I am going to be trying out this headset with Titanfall as I play it this week to give you an honest reaction on what I think about the headset, all right? So, there you have it. How will I be tackling this week's new releases? It's this simple. This week, every
every day I will be doing two gameplay streams until Friday because Friday John Rambo will be coming over and we're going to be doing co-op, okay? Um, starting today, first stream is Dark Souls 2, second stream is Titanfall. That might change, meaning I might flip them if I get stuck in Dark Souls, if I get enough people requesting that I flip the streams because they can't attend one or the other and they want to see the live gameplay of one or the other, okay? I will also be direct capturing those playthroughs and uploading them daily to my YouTube gaming channel, DSP Gaming. So if you cannot attend either stream, you can watch those daily on DSP Gaming. For Dark Souls 2, I'm doing something I've never done before. Because it is such an, uh, a special playthrough, we're going to have thousands of people who support me and thousands of people who want to see me fail. There are people trying to aid me and people trying to invade me like crazy. All right? I'm going to do, number one, the entire playthrough will be face cam, which I almost never do, but I did do it when I returned to Dark Souls last year. Okay? That's a huge difference, because normally I don't do that shit. Number two, for the first time ever, since it is a kind of game where it makes sense, I will be doing a death counter. That's right, I'm going to have a death counter on the screen at all times. And knowing that it's Dark Souls, I may get into the four or five digit numbers. <laughs> uh, you think I'm kidding. So, that's the deal with Dark Souls 2. Titanfall, uh, I'm going to be playing several sessions this week. I'm going to, as I said, try out this headset. And I'll eventually, later this week, make a video about it and let you know what I think, my honest opinions about it. The quality of the voice jack, the quality of the audio, even though it is only stereo audio and it is a complete fucking ripoff. Um, and, uh, the one thing is with this, with Titanfall, I actually contacted a few other popular YouTubers last night, and, uh, it looks like I may have a chance to team up with one or two of them. I'm not going to name them or promise anything right now because I don't want to give hype to something that may not happen, and that's unfair, that's just name dropping, and I'm not like that, but there's a possibility that a few sessions this week, maybe I'll be teaming up with other YouTubers to try out Titanfall online, but we'll see what happens with that, and I will update everyone on that, obviously. The bottom line is this. If you want to know what's going on, thekingofhate.com is my website. It's been fully updated. It's a brand new website. On a daily basis, the homepage has all the information you need to know, and if anything changes, I will update the homepage, right? So it used to be that you had to follow me at they call me DSP on Twitter, and I would tweet like crazy, and I still do that, because i got a good 21,000 or so people who follow me on there. But I actually rather would like that you go to the page. Because the webpage of thekingofhate.com, the homepage, has everything you need on there. Explained. Okay? Stream times. What games I'm playing on stream. Upload times to YouTube. It's all there. So that is it for Release Day Unboxing. What a week. It's going to be one of the most exciting weeks I think I've ever had doing this stuff. I thank you very much for watching my content. And uh, that is it. Right now, I'm actually about to stop recording this video, up, uh, edit it, upload it to YouTube, and, uh, and set up for my first stream, which is in about roughly an hour. So, thanks, everybody. And I uh, hope to see you for Dark Souls 2 and Titanfall gameplay this week. Peace out. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Ooh, Dark Trolls.